I'm super excited because today I have the Fujifilm X-S10 that we are going to be doing an on-location natural light portrait photo shoot with. I'm going to be using the XF 35mm f1.4 lens. We have a really, really special photo shoot planned for today, so I really hope you guys enjoy watching. I wanted to try one if you kind of stand here and if you could kind of like spin towards me a little bit, like kind of little half spins. Yeah, so we can get like that nice movement. Oh, that's perfect, right there. Thinking it'd be cool if you could sit kind of like sideways here and I'll be kind of like where Dan is. This spot is so beautiful here. For these next shots here, we found some fuzzier fields and some trees in the far background that will produce some very nice bokeh with this lens. And we are in a kind of shady position with a little bit of back and side light coming in to just kind of highlight Coralie's face here as well. This is the behind the scenes of my photo shoot for the Fujifilm straight out of the camera challenge with the new XS10. If you want to see that final video and my actual straight out of the camera photos, you can watch it on the official Fujifilm YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description. I would really love for you guys to watch it as myself and the whole team worked really hard to make the whole thing happen. I might also get a shot from a little bit lower if you kind of wanted to bring your hands just kind of over. We've got some really beautiful bucket in the background here too, which I love. Otherwise, the photos here in this video are some extra shots that I liked and I edited them with different Fuji film simulations which are all labelled and I've also done some skin retouching on these as well. Not too yeah. bad. <laughs> they work. Yeah, that's perfect. Like if you kind of had your head almost resting on your hand there. Yeah, I like it. You kind of like tilted your head up to the sky a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, I like that leaning back. Like yeah, I love that with your chin down just a little bit. It looks really, really nice there. So if you could kind of like lean down your shoulders a little bit towards me. Yeah, I'm gonna get a bit of the trees in the background instead because otherwise the sky was just too, too plain. Yeah, I love that with a bit of sun on your face too. And you can kind of like swing, like kind of cross your arms out in front of you there. Beautiful. Yeah, looking off to the side or out in the distance looks amazing. And you can stretch out your arms too. Yeah, beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love these. Actually, some from the side look really nice there when you just turned. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. All right, awesome. <laughs> that was really good, I love that. I wanted to get with a little bit more harsh light on your face and just step in that. So for this one, I feel like if I could kind of get your profile a little bit, yeah. Oh, a little bit more, yeah. So we get light in kind of both your eyes. Looks really nice. So tilt your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful there. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> yeah, I was thinking if you could stand here, kind of in between these, these sticks. <laughs> Oh, I love that. So we've come down to the lake and I want to get a shot of Coralie where she looks like she's kind of walking out of the water, but I don't want to create too many ripples in the water as I really like the reflection of the trees and a little bit of the clouds that you can see in it too. So we're going to just kind of do a pretend walking out shot. So we're going to play around and see what we can get. I'm starting off with a really wide shot here as well so I can see more of the environment and I'm also getting a little bit of kind of lens flare in the corner of the shot as well, which I really like for this. Is it okay? Oh, my foot got stuck oh, it, it like suctions in, eh? <laughs> Alright, that's super cool there. So this I'm cropping just above your knees, by the way. Yeah, I feel like these ones look really cool if they're a bit like moodier. I feel like a close-up here would look really nice. <laughs> yeah, that's good there. I feel like I like uh, that arm kind of down and the other one up looked really good there. Also, I wanted to mention that this entire video was filmed by Dan on the Fujifilm X-T4 and the MK18-55. I love the lens flare from this lens, especially towards the end of the video during golden hour. It's so pretty. Like, please don't fall. I'm just making sure I wasn't okay. stuck. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I think if you stand just here, so I wanted to get these kind of trees in the background. <laughs> yeah, See how I tried to rescue them? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> and just laughs. <laughs> I'm gonna get a very wide shot here as I love the kind of dead trees that are in the water. Oh, this looks so dreamy here. It's like that glow from the background. Even some looking away here I think would be, yeah, I love that. Yay, we're getting close up. This is like perfect. <laughs> so I'm gonna get some close ups here. Oh, I love over the shoulder, that looks so nice. And then, can we also do some if you twist this way? I'm gonna try and get a little bit of sun on your face. Oh, yeah, that lighting is gorgeous though. Bring your chin up a little, yeah. Yeah, your hands out like that look great. And we'll get a few more backlit ones because that looks so nice. <laughs> I'm gonna do one if you face that way and look back at me. Do you want to do one looking over your shoulder that way? Yeah, was that from the clouds or the? the clouds. Oh. <laughs> oh, that looks so nice. You can see the like the raindrops a little bit in the background. That looks super cool. Yeah, I love that looking away, like kind of to the side there. 